can't believe I'm able to get my hand on the inside of this thing. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know if I'm getting that in there, but we're going to see. Finally wrapping up the rally. Check it out. It is totally, it's starting to get empty. Everybody's starting to empty out. So our neighbors have left. So we got the truck here. Now, something new for you guys. And um, you are going to be pretty excited about this. So as you know, we work with, where, where are you? What are you doing? I'm over here. Over here. <laughs> This is Michael from Innovation Tire. You know, one of our wonderful sponsors, and you guys know they carry Tire Minder. And we had Tire Minder on all our tires, on the RV and the truck. So we got here early, and mm -hmm. you said, hey, now that you have a dually, how about some pass-through extensions for the TPMS system? Because as you know, these little cap ones, which work amazing, probably a little more tough to get air in and out of a dually. So here's the new ones, guys. Check this out. Ding, ding, ding. Look how awesome that is. Nice metal construction. The battery's in here, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. That part's gonna screw on to the stem, and then there's a little cap on the end that you can keep, and you remove that with your air. So what we're gonna do, we have a valve stem for the outer tire, and then inside there, which we're going to reach our hand there, we're gonna install the pass-through and program it. All right, Here's so first phone. step obviously is put the battery inside and then we're gonna go into the learning mode. And as you all know from our last video, you hold the two outside, hold the two arrows down and inside will go from M to L, which is learn. And I know we have another serious glare out here, guys. So what we're gonna do is see where it says front right there? Yep. We're gonna wanna move the RV to the back. So we're gonna reprogram the whole front screen okay. to be just the truck. So what we'll do is we'll just delete these four sensors and then we'll redo the RV. Oh. So we'll just go ahead and delete them all. Oh, you have a quick button for that? Yeah. So all you have to do is you highlight when you're in learn mode and when it's yep. flashing, hold down the center button for three seconds and the number will Zero. disappear. Awesome. And then you just cycle to whichever one you wanna delete can't believe I'm able to get my hand on the inside of this thing. <laughs> Seriously. I don't know if I'm getting that in there, but we're gonna see. So I did have a long extension in there, guys, and the extension was just like a wet noodle. So it came all the way out, but it would just start banging on the tire. So we removed that extension. So here's the extension where it does its job very well, but as soon as I put the uh, pass-through on here, it would just, more weight and started wiggling and i don't want it to start banging on the tire so all right so michael's right. got it on there and we're blinking here you'll see 115 psi now normally i don't have 115 psi on the tires but what we did we just installed the tires with the commercial tires they put in 115 psi here you go it just seats a little better and i drove it to go get an alignment and then what I'm gonna do now that I have the TPMS sensors on there, I'm gonna drop it down to the recommended PSI. I think it's like 85 or 90, and then it'll ride a little softer too. We're on the front and you can see those are, that one's blinking there. Let's see what PSI we're on this one, 105. So the insides are really high. Now let's see if we so, can use this or not. Yeah, on the front as well, guys, there is another extension. So we are, you can see how deep it is. Actually, it's not really that deep in there. Oh, I see what you're doing. Yeah, it doesn't fit. Oh, really? No. Okay. Some of these don't. All right, so note to self, guys, if you have the commercial tires and you have those pass through, it's not gonna fit on the threading. Oh, but look how clean, oh yeah, there you go. But look how clean that sits on, the, oh, you're not even on there? Oh, I'm on. Okay. Are we on the right? Uh, yep. Go ahead and thread it on. All right, cool. I'm going to take a guess of our PSI. 107. Michael made a good point. We like the, um, we like it without the extension because it does fit nice and flush. And he just made a point. If you hit a rock or something, it's not going to take off the TPMS uh, sensor. It just looks cleaner. You know, we're all about the look sometimes. Let's play. Guess the PSI. 113, wow, we are across the board all over. Holy cow. So what the system is monitoring now is all the numbers we see on the screen. 
And that's because he has them overinflated on purpose per the manufacturer prior to the alignment of the truck. Correct. But once the alignment is done, all the tires on the truck are going to be lowered down to their proper PSI, somewhere around 80 PSI. Yep, 80, 85, I think it was, something like so that. So what yeah. we're going to end up doing, when we lower the air out of the tires, that'll be reflected here. But you have to tell the system that you're lowering the air on so purpose. that it understands. <laughs> so the system primarily is in monitoring mode, signified by the letter M right here. You'll see a little letter M right yep. there, and it says monitoring right on it. Yep. If you hold the center button down, for three seconds, the M turns into a P oh, for programming. Oh, okay. This is where you can modify what we call the baseline. And the baseline is designed to tell the system what type of tire it is. Because for example, if you had a, a golf cart, well, that's only maybe 30 PSI. Mm -hmm. A truck is 80. The RV might be 100 PSI. You can literally adjust every single tire individually as to what you want to monitor. So on here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna purposely lower his baselines down to 85 that way when he does get his tires readjusted the system will already be set up for him so to do that all you need to do is get that number flashing okay. and then using the arrow buttons on the top you can toggle those numbers down so i'm going to go ahead and lower it down to 85 and when you say this is going down to 85 that's going to be if it goes any lower then it's going to start alerting me right so what it's going to what it's going to monitor is an 85 psi tire got it and what it's looking for is too high a pressure from 85 or too low a pressure from 85. Now, obviously we're much higher than that here. Yep. In reality, it's 115. Mm -hmm. So when I come out of program mode, the system is automatically gonna alert you to say, you have too much air in this tire. Got it. So I'm gonna come out of program mode just so you can see how that works. So I've changed only one of the tires. Yep. So one's at 85. Now, when I come out, you're gonna see this one flashing. It'll be encircled in red and you'll hear a beeping letting you know there's an issue. Oh yeah, look at that. Yep, so there you go. And it says high pressure. That's right. Not like high pressure, <laughs> but high pressure. It's letting you know that per the way we set up this tire, which is supposed to be monitoring 85 PSI, at 112, that's far above what the range would be allowable. Correct. So it's letting you know there's an issue. Yep. Awesome. I love that feature. Now, what is the low point when it starts to alert? I mean, obviously, I know from experience when, you know, when I take these off, you know, it alerts me rapid leak, yeah. rapid leak. And so then... there's rapid leak, slow leak, and low pressure. Okay. Those are the low side. Then you, of course, have high pressure and high temperature. Oh, high temperature. I did forget about that that's one. That's right. So those are your five alerts that you get. And on the low side, let's say you're you're camping and you park the truck, and but you didn't realize you rolled over a nail. Mm -hmm. Well, the next morning when you get up, you maybe lost 30 psi. Mm -hmm. You didn't know. Yep. The moment you turn this on, it will let you know you have a low tire. Yep. So that would be a low tire. And a slow leak is if you picked up a nail and maybe over the course of an hour, you slowly lose pressure, lose pressure. It'll pick that feature up and alert you, you have a slow leak. So on the temperature feature, you can see signified in blue right above my finger, it says psi. Mm -hmm. And that PSI is telling you the PSI, but to change over to temper, just the center button, all you do is touch it one time and it'll instantly come over to Fahrenheit. And what you're seeing now is all the temperatures of all the tires. And what we're monitoring is to make sure the tires don't get above that 155, 160 degree mark where tires can become dangerous. And when you say dangerous, that just means it's the, the rubber just starts softening too much? Basically, when a tire gets too hot, it'll become malleable. Oh. It'll become, it's rubber. Yeah, 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 it makes total sense. And just think about it, as you're driving, that centrifugal force and that motion as you're driving and bouncing, that tire can open up and break the bead. Oh. And that's where we'll get a brand new, perfectly good tire. There's nothing wrong with it, but due to numerous different things, you can have heat in a tire. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know it's heating up, that tire can open up and pop the bead and it can cause a blowout based on popping that bead all right so there's the truck ones we are in monitoring mode and see oh you just saw it now there's the rv numbers so it auto scrolls while you're driving guys that is freaking awesome Mike, thanks for helping me again. Thanks for having us with cool products. <laughs> InnovationTire.com. InnovationTire.com. Go visit them. Use the code JOURNEY20 to get 20 bucks off your uh, TPMS system. They will ship it right out to you. And if you want to use your iPhone or your Android phone as the monitor, 
you have an option for that. We do. And you also have, an, what's the big screen one? So we've got a five and a half inch screen. It's our premium model and it does 22 tires all on one screen, all in one shot. What would have 22 tires? The 18 wheelers. I'm I still waiting to do it. I'd love to see anybody with 22 tires. Yeah, right. <laughs> so if you need 22 tires or you just want a big five inch screen on your dashboard or whatever, go for the big one. But guys, let me tell you what was so this weekend, obviously at the Grand Design Rally, what do you think the most popular one that you sold? The most, the it, one you most. It's by far the one that's in your hand. The one you installed on your system is called the I-10. The I-10, yep. That I-10 is our number one seller by a long shot. Yeah. And it just works, guys. It's affordable. It works properly. It's simple. It does what it says it does. Yeah. And again, once you program it, you set it, you forget it. And it is, I don't know, it's just simple. It's it easy. just works. It just works, man. And that's what we like about this stuff. And that's why, you know, even before we hooked up with Michael, with, we were using TireMinder before because it just worked. There was no headache in setup. And if it was easy enough for me to do it by myself, it's super easy for you. So once again, guys, give us the website. InnovationTire.com. InnovationTire.com. Use code Journey20. Don't forget to hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button because after this video, I have some very cool footage and interviews of other YouTubers here at the Grand Design Rally. You're definitely going to want to subscribe. So hit that bell notification and enjoy the content. Guys, thanks again for watching. Thanks again, Michael. Appreciate it. Guys, we'll see you out on the road. Be safe. Ladies and